Hey guys, it's Beth, and this is day four of Bookmas. On the fourth day of Bookmas, my true love gave to me four cozy reads. So I'm ready. I've got my fuzzy Marilyn Monroe sweater. I've got my Baby It's Cold Outside coffee in my Baby It's Cold Outside coffee mug. And I've got some books. So let's get started. The first one I want to talk about is a series that I can't even explain to you why it makes me want to curl up and feel all cozy because there's a lot going on that really shouldn't make you feel cozy at all. And that's the Mortal Instruments series. I just love curling up and falling into a book in this book. While it may not be the most literary thing that's out there, it just makes me want to fall into the world and I love reading it and I can't wait to see the, uh, the show that's coming on. I think it's going to be fabulous. The next one I want to show you is actually a trilogy by Nora Roberts. I know I did a trilogy by Nora Roberts yesterday as well, but this one is a different one. This is the Key Trilogy, and it is Key of Light, Key of Knowledge, and Key of Valor. And this is a great set of friends as well, going back to yesterday's. But the reason that I feel cozy and I want to curl up and read this is that the very first page in the very first book in the trilogy says, The storm ripped over the mountains, gushing torrents of rain that struck the ground with the sharp ring of metal on stone. Lightning strikes spat down angry artillery fire that slammed against the cannon roar of thunder. There was a gleeful kind of mean in the air. A sizzle of temper and spite that boiled with power. It suited Mallory Price's mood perfectly. And if that is not a great start to a book you want to curl up with a blanket and a hot cup of coffee or cocoa with, I don't know what to tell you. These things are fabulous. Nora Roberts is amazing. She wouldn't have been able to sell as many books as she has if she wasn't. But she's also a genuinely nice person and she writes friendships and crazy things and just everything in between and magics really really well and I love reading her books. All right, the next one I want to talk to you about is Anne of Green Gables. This is kind of a cozy comfort book. I've read this book I don't know how many times. I've read the entire series. They're fabulous. Ellen Montgomery just wrote this amazing uh, little girl with a lot of pluck and Anne is the reason I discovered Alfred uh, Tennyson who is now my favorite poet of all time. So these books hold a really special place in my heart, as does the miniseries and the Avonlea TV show and all of that. I just love them. Something I've watched with my mother on several occasions. Um, my three-year-old has had to suffer through a couple of episodes of Avonlea with me. She's not quite to the stage where she loves it yet, though. Um, but this is another great cozy read. If you haven't read it, it's a classic. You definitely should. And then finally, I've got Trixie Belden in the Secret of, Secret of the Mansion, which is the first book in the Trixie Belden series. And I want to talk about this because one of my favorite cozy types of reads is a mystery, and I read a lot of the old mysteries. So this is, of course, Trixie Belden by Julie Campbell. There is a big section of these books. There's a series of them, and Trixie, I almost used these as a friendship book yesterday. I mean, they write... Great friendship, great mystery, along with Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, um, Together and Separate, Bobsy Twins, things like that. They have these wonderful mysteries, and they're just fun and fun-loving, and there's a little bit of danger that makes you want to... <gasps> and then there's just a lot of fun stuff that goes on, and I love those. I haven't read a lot of the new mysteries, and I really should because I love mysteries, but I'm still in my fantasy stage that I'm pretty much always in. So I'm just now coming in to another round with Contemporary. I read Fangirl recently, um, which is another great cozy read, by the way. So there you go. And finally, I know I gave you four cozy reads or types of cozy reads, but I'm going to give you one not a read, and that is writing. If you love to write, and see mine is tabbed for characters, if you love to write, one of the best things you can do Grab your coffee, grab your tea, whatever it is you're drinking, get a little snack, notebook, multiple pens, wrap up in a blanket in the corner of the couch or in the stairwell or wherever it is that you are and just write and you can write your own cozy novel. 
or short story or poetry or whatever it is that you want to read because that's what we do. We write what we want to read because nobody else has it done for us yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was Book Miss Day 4, and I will see you tomorrow.